In this video, I'm going to go over 15 tips and tricks to help you along the way in Star Wars Outlaws. Now I have over 60 plus hours in the game, and there's a lot of things that took me quite a while to learn, quite a while to figure out, and I was glad once I did. So I hope any of these tips help you out, but without further ado, let's get right into tip number one. This took me way too long to figure out. As you guys could see, I could sit here and sell my items one by one, you know? But if you go down here to the bottom right, you press G or you just click on it, you're going to sell all valuables at once and it just makes selling a heck of a lot faster. Simple quality of life thing, nothing too, too crazy. Now when it comes to abilities, we have a few tips here. One of them is going to be Treasure Hunter. This is a Nyx ability. I highly recommend you guys getting this as fast as you can and using it very, very often. This, you're going to press B on PC. I don't know what it is on console. And he's going to highlight caches and other things around the map. If there's an area where you don't know where stuff is, like say you're trying to go to a cache and you don't know exactly where it is, you can just press B and it's going to start highlighting all the special things. As you can see, it highlighted my speeder. It highlighted this data pad right here. And it's just going to highlight a bunch of stuff in the environment, even just standard pickups. So I highly recommend using this as often as you can, especially when you're doing those treasure hunts. Now, when it comes to Nyx, I highly recommend you guys utilizing him as much as you possibly can. Not only can he distract cameras, which took me quite a while to learn, you can use him and he'll distract cameras and you can bypass them. But he also can pick up not only weapons, but also Bactyl vials for you. So while you're out in a gunfight, in the middle of a gunfight, you can have him go pick up a Bactyl vial if you need extra health. So utilize him as much as possible. Later on with certain abilities that he has, you can actually have him activate grenades on the enemy. And you can have him start activating grenades in people's pockets, use them as distractions and things like that. So he's super, super helpful. Next off, when it comes to abilities, one of the things you're really going to want to get, especially for late game, is going to be the Electro Shock Prod. This is going to be the only way you can take down elite enemies as well as do stealth takedowns on droids you can use your blaster to take down droids but i highly recommend you getting this because this is going to be the only way to make stealth a lot easier when it comes to late game next off when it comes to combat something we're so accustomed to when it comes to games like this is adsing aiming down our sight and outlaws in most situations it's actually better for you to hip fire there is an ability that will give you extra damage on the initial hip fire so not only do you have that but your mobility is going to be a heck of a lot easier running around rolling around getting in and out of cover and it's not going to change the pace of the fights. If anything, it's going to make fighting a lot faster if you're not ADSing the entire time. You could see more enemies. You can see what's coming at you. If someone's going to be sniping you, throwing a grenade at you, whatever it may be. So keep in mind, try not to ADS as much as possible. By far the fastest way not only to gain reputation as well as credits might be what you're thinking. This is contracts, but there are specific contracts you really want to focus on. Sometimes their payout might be low, but these are going to be the delivery contracts. Try to do the ones that are in orbit. These ones are absolutely fantastic. Sometimes you can get two to three in a single orbit and you can do them all together. On the final step of the delivery contracts, this is where the credits come in. You will have the decision to either side with the syndicate that you originally got the contract with or go against them. 100% of the time, if you go against them, not only is the money going to double, but as well as the reputation. And if you could just turn and burn these quests out, this is a fantastic way not only to gain fast reputation, but as well as credits. Next off, we have a few tips for your speeder. As you guys know, there is a drift button. I highly recommend using this as much as possible. You're going to really, really want to be using this to get around corners, to get easily in and out of certain areas, and to cause you not to crash. Next off, if you hold the drift button and forward, you're going to do a little boost. And if you let go of it, it's going to be kind of like the Mario Kart starting boost. You're going to get a major boost to your speed. Next off, this is PC specific. If you hold down the right mouse button, and I know this sounds simple, but a lot of players don't know this, you can actually free aim with the mouse when you're on your speed. It causes you to have a lot more mobility when it comes to steering, so you're not steering like this. So hold down your right mouse button, and you can steer around with the mouse independently from regular steering. On top of all this, when you're infiltrating an Imperial base, be sure to take out the officers because even if you sabotage the alarms, the officers can call for backup at any time, which then will signal the alarm. So take them out silently because it doesn't matter if the alarms are off, they can still call for backup. Keep in mind when it comes to equipment, some pieces of clothing are going to have a set piece bonus. These are going to be very good to keep an eye on based off of your play style and make sure you're utilizing these set bonuses. Obviously, you may want to just switch it up and use whatever you want, but these set bonuses will help you along the way based off of the way you play, whether you do stealth, whether you want increased damage to specific enemy types or whatever it may be. I also highly recommend when it comes to materials and upgrading and things like that, focus on specific upgrades that you really want, not ones just to get them. You're going to burn 
burn materials, you're going to burn credits really fast and you're going to be locked out of certain things until you find those materials again. Some of these materials can only be bought off of specific merchants around the town. So be very specific when it comes to upgrading. Next off, Nyx has his own special charm style ability. These are gained by going to the different food stalls in each planet. You're going to have to start and finish a mini game. Once you beat it, you're going to be able to get these upgrades. These are going to give him special passive abilities like being able to distract multiple enemies at once, being able to kick grenades away from you, as well as attack enemies and wreak havoc, causing them to shoot everywhere. These are really good to look out for and make sure that you guys are collecting on each planet. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and some of these tips you guys didn't know and it helped you out. If you enjoyed it, drop a like on it and subscribe for all things gaming, all things outlaws. Let me know how you're making out with the game. I'm having an absolute blast with it. I honestly don't know what the hate is all about. This game is super fun. It's super refreshing and it's a great open world single player Star Wars experience. Sure does it have its flaws? Yes, but what game doesn't? Overall, I just am having a blast with it. And as always, stay happy, stay hyped and have a beautiful day.